<laughs> so, Tom, to shoe or not to shoe, that, that, that is the question. Why, why do you have to shoe horses? The wagon that he pulls, the four-wheel wagon, weighs a tonne before they put anything in it. The pressure and the friction on his feet would be tremendous and he would soon wear them down and he would soon become lame. So to protect the foot from excessive wear, we put a shoe on. If they're not doing that much work, they really do not require shoeing. How's it looking? Fine. Heavy horses like Clumper must be reshod every six weeks with brand new custom-made shoes. Into the first bend. Cold quite quick. It looks like the devil when it catches you in the eye. And I notice you're doing all these holes by eye. Yeah. Is that something you just get from experience? Hopefully. <laughs> just making it, taking all the sharp edges off, making it look right. Okay, so it's the other side of the shoe. Second bend. Now it's beginning to look like a shoe. Farriers are their own worst enemy. We make the job look very rough and ready. Yeah. But it's got to be absolutely spot on. The Victorian farrier served a four-year apprenticeship to learn these skills. He required not only the craft of the blacksmith, but also knowledge of horse anatomy. A lot of people get me mixed up with the blacksmith. Right. Um, is that sacrilege, is it? It is to me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a farrier, not a blacksmith. The blacksmith does ornamental metal work, metal fittings yeah. for the wagons and the wheels, or always did. And uh, the farrier, he shoes horses. The blacksmiths are older and uglier than what we are. They've been going for about 4,000 years. Right. Farriers have only been going for 2,000 years. So this system of shoeing horses hasn't altered in 2,000 years. What do you think of our forge? How's it, how's it going so far? Is it all right? Great, yeah, it's going well. <laughs> how's it looking then? I think that's about it. Yep, yeah. ready to go? Clumper's new shoes are ready to be fitted. OK, we've got it just about ready. Not too hot. If I burn on too much, I'll score the foot. So I've got to so be a little bit careful. So you're burning on? Yeah. What does that mean? Well, you'll see. When I go outside, you'll see exactly what we're doing. You're going to put it on hot. Right, OK. Good lad. Up, up. The hot shoe burns an impression into the horn of the hoof, showing Tom how well it's fitting. And this doesn't hurt him? Well, as long as we don't do it too much. Way up. He's too tight at the heels. Yeah. He's not too bad at the toe, so we need to open him up at the heels there and there. OK? Yeah. So we're just going to just adjust that a little bit just more. a little bit more. So you've got to work quick then, haven't you? Because all the while it's cooling. Cooling down, yeah. So you can't afford to be casual. The shoe has got to be absolutely level. So working this quickly, then, how many horses would a Victorian farrier shoe in a day? I should think you probably did at least eight horses a day. Eight horses a day? Yeah. But they did it more of a production line. After final adjustments, the shoe's ready to be nailed to Clumper's foot. Up, up. Come on, Clumps. OK. So you're going to put that into that horse's foot, are you? Yep. There's a right way and a wrong way to put them in. If you go in the wrong way, you'll know about it. You go towards the bone. Oh, hold, steady. Get up. When done by a skilled farrier, the horse feels nothing. Okay. But there's little margin for error. Stand still. It's you stand there. <sighs> Driving in a nail at the wrong angle can make a horse lame for life. As the nail comes through the foot, yeah. you have to rip it off pretty quick. That's a long piece of nail. Hammer yeah. goes on, ring it off. 
Ah. Stand still. Yeah, stand there. It's not a small man's game, this, then. Well, a small man, normally, they're very good at this, actually. They don't get so much back trouble in a small man. Right. Stand there, Clumper. And now we can see the amount of growth we've had from one set of shooting yeah. to another. So you can see where the old nail holes are yeah. in comparison to the, to the new ones. So that's roughly sort of six weeks' growth then there. OK, so we better finish him off. Oi! Come back. Come up. Step on. So you just run your hand across. Yeah. Make sure it's all nice and smooth. And drop it. Drop him down. Well, there we go, fella. <laughs> How many did you say they did a day? Eight a day? They'd be... They'd probably do a few before breakfast, so... <laughs> It's now just...